getting ready to dehydrate these peppers and I'm going to show you how I do that. I should also mention about peppers. I don't always dehydrate them. Sometimes I will pickle them. Sometimes I will flash freeze them. And sometimes I dehydrate them. What matters is what my intended usage is. This is intended to be spices and seasoning, which means I'm going to dehydrate it. If I was going to be doing peppers, like sweet peppers, for like a salad or something like that, I might pickle them or fresh, flash freeze them. Or if I wanted them to look fresh as like sides to a meal or something like that. But these are all pretty much going to be spices. I actually haven't made spice peppers since before I got cancer. And I got cancer in 2020, so I think it's 2019 was the last year I'd done that. I am getting very low on some. I've ran out of others. So what I've got here, I've got habanero, cayenne, fire and ice, and cubanelle. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to get these washed up, get them sliced, get them in the dehydrator, and get them dehydrated. I normally do these by collar and shape. It just makes it easier when I put them on the tray, if they're done that way. What you're going to do, you're going to slice these, and then you're going to remove any seeds that are in them. So you can see there are some seeds in there. Sometimes I'll do this under the water. You can actually leave the seeds in there when you're first dehydrating them and then they fall right off once they're dried out. So I slice them in half and then I stick them on the dehydrator. If the seeds are easy to remove, I go ahead and remove the seeds. If they're not easy to remove, I just leave them and get them later. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get these sliced up. I'll bring you back at the next step. And basically I just lay them out on the trays as I go. And then that way while I'm cutting the others, these are already started the process of dehydrating which takes several hours. So it doesn't hurt if you get some in there a little bit earlier than the other ones. but. Once they're on the tray and the dehydrator, they go. And as you can see, there's not a lot in there, but I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on. And make sure that it's on there correctly. And I'm going to turn the heat all the way down to about the lowest. Maybe a little bit higher. Usually around 105 is where I like it at. Now, I said 105. That also means that you could do it in your oven on proof so if you don't have a dehydrator you can use your oven just put it on proof mode let me get some more of these cut up and there's the first tray here is the second tray have to excuse the mess if you're seeing it because i have just got seven billion things going on at once and we'll get the lid on there Then it's just hurry up and wait. I'll bring you back when the next step gets here.